Hi everyone, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we will go over how to download Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, how to download the pattern to your computer, how to open the pattern with Adobe DC, three ways of doing it, how to select the size layer that you want to print, how to select the paper size, how to print the pattern, how to check the scale and finally assemble the papers and get started. We now have our patterns in 12 different sizes from size 2 to size 24 and we place them on our PDF with layers. This means that you can choose the, the sizes that you want to print. You can print them all or, or you can print just the size that you want to sew. We also included the seam allowances with 0.8 cm on all patterns, so you can cut directly when you assemble the pattern and start cutting the fabrics directly with your pattern print. So first thing we need to see is the difference between Adobe Acrobat Reader and Adobe Acrobat DC. So in fact we really need to have installed Adobe Acrobat DC and we can see here the differences between them and you can see that on DC you can do much more uh, than on the other one. So please install. Let's see how to install it now. Go to get.adobe.com and install Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. It's only three steps and it's free. So uh, it's very easy and very simple. Install it on your computer. Now open the PDF that you have downloaded and if you click twice on the file it, it will open on Acrobat Reader DC that we have just installed. But you can also choose open, open with and choose the program if it's not your default program. And another option is to open your uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC and then do file, open, and choose the file that you want to open. And these are the three ways you have to open your file. Now with the file open, you have on your left a menu. Uh, you have this arrow, maybe you need to press it to see the menu. And you have these small like layers, you can see here layers. So you press layers and you will see all the layers that we have. I'm gonna do a zoom out so that you can see the pages. This is set up for A4, but you will see that you can print in many sizes. Then you have all the sizes and you have this legend, so you cannot unsee them. But I'm clicking the uh, I to uh, remove the sizes that I don't want to see. And I, I have chosen to print size 12. So I'm only with the, the I symbol on size 12 and my BCD02 and BCD01 that are the main uh, references. Now you can see here the scales in inches and in centimeters. So you can check if everything is okay. And then we have also these uh, squares, lines on the corners and on the middle of our pages. And this is to help you placing the, the, the sheets uh, uh, aligned and perfect. And you also have numbers and letters to help you assemble the pattern pages correctly. So you see here B1, etc. Now you just have to go to File, Print, and here we just need to do, we leave all pages. If we want to test, we can test some one or two. Then the custom scale is 100%, so leave it to 100%. And you go to page setup. Never mind this uh, warning. And then you choose the paper that you have. So it can be legal, letter, A3, A4, whatever paper you have in your home. So if I choose the paper, for instance, legal or uh, letter, which I'm going to do now, you can see that my preview adjusts to the paper. So now it's very easy. I just need to print and it will be ready to assemble and start sewing. Just want to share some more details with you. So imagine that I want to scale uh, to grade my pattern. Uh, this is how I would do it by hand of course. So uh, this line is the line of my pattern and this continuous line is the line where I'm going to cut. So I have a seam allowance applied of 0 0.8 centimeters. Here on the layers you can choose to see more than one size. 
So if you want to grade, you can use these uh, uh, notches uh, on some specific areas to grade your pattern more easily. You can uh, also see uh, where you, you have the grain line in every size, if in, even if you freeze, if you unsee uh, um, the other sizes, you will all, always have the grain line and all the other informations on the pattern. So I hope this helps you and if you have any questions, uh, don't forget to mention them on the comments below or join us on our Facebook group, our private Facebook group at BikiniDesignClub.com sewing group. And uh, I hope you liked this video and it's helpful. And see you soon. Thank you.